The Angara ship, which has transported thousands of containers believed to contain North Korean munitions to Russian ports since August 2023, has been anchored at a Chinese shipyard in the country's eastern province of Zhejiang since February. Reuters reports this with reference to satellite images obtained. The images show the Angara moored at a shipyard of China's largest private ship repair company, Zushan Chinya Shipyard in Zhejiang. The ship was identified by its unique automatic identification system, Transponder, which was briefly switched on, presumably for security reasons, while passing through a busy section of the Korean Strait on its way to China. The British think tank, Royal United Services Institute, said that the Angara was transporting North Korean munitions to Russian ports. A US State Department spokesperson said that it was aware of credible open source reports that the Angara was now docked in a Chinese port and that it had raised the issue with Chinese authorities. We call on the member states to fulfill their obligations under UNSCR 2397, the spokesman said, referring to the UN resolution that restricts trade with North Korea and requires UN member states to deregister any vessels involved in illegal activities. The next round of EU sanctions against Russia is expected to target Russia's shadow fleet of oil tankers that transport oil above the $60 billion per barrel price cap and other cargo ships carrying North Korean military equipment to Russia, Reuters reported citing a source from the EU. EU Trade Commissioner Valdis Dombrovskis said earlier in April that the bloc is preparing its 14th round of sanctions against Russia, which should be adopted in spring. While initially successful, Russia eventually managed to largely dodge the effects by using a shadow fleet of uninsured tankers. Kyiv's partners have been intensifying their efforts to enforce the cap. Reuters reported that Russia's April oil and gas revenues will be almost double that of the same month last year. Illustrating that Western sanctions targeting Moscow's oil and gas industries have not been as effective as hoped. Russia has also countered its massive battlefield losses by increasing its military ties with other pariah nations, namely Iran and North Korea. Russians may step up attacks using time before US aid arrives for Ukraine. ISW warns experts from the Institute for the Study of War ISW suggest that the Russians may intensify their attacks using a window before the arrival of new U.S. security assistance to Ukraine. Recall on the 20th of April, the U.S. House of Representatives passed a supplemental appropriations bill that would provide about 60 billion U.S. dollars in aid to Ukraine. The bill now needs to be approved by the Senate and signed by the President before the aid can be delivered. These requirements, as well as the logistics of getting U.S. aid to the front line in Ukraine, are likely to mean that the aid will not start to have an impact on the battlefield for several weeks. The frontline situation will therefore likely continue to deteriorate in that time, particularly if Russian forces increase their attacks to take advantage of the limited window before the arrival of new U.S. aid, the report says. The analysts note that Ukrainian forces may suffer additional setbacks in the coming weeks as they await U.S. security assistance to allow Ukraine to stabilize the front. However, the Ukrainian troops are likely to be able to halt the current Russian offensive if renewed U.S. aid arrives quickly. The report adds, the threat of an operationally significant Russian advance in the coming weeks remains, although the Ukrainian command may have more latitude to take short-term risks with dwindling supplies to prevent such an advance once it knows that more material will be arriving soon. Experts suggest that the Russians are likely to intensify offensive operations and missile and drone strikes in the coming weeks to take advantage of the closing window due to Ukrainian material constraints. In addition, Russian troops are continuing and in some areas have intensified offensive operations likely to take advantage of abnormally dry spring conditions and the ongoing shortage of Ukrainian supplies before the arrival of promised Western security assistance. At the same time, experts point out that Russian troops have achieved only tactical successes over the past six months of a deteriorating situation in Ukraine and are likely to achieve a breakthrough that would make the front line collapse.